Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today's Friday, August 18th. Hope everybody had a good week of trading. Let's take a quick look at the markets and then we will jump into all of our trades for the week. So starting with VIX, volatility peaked its head back up above 18 before retracing today. Uh, so pumping a little bit of juice back in the options, which is always welcome for us premium sellers. Uh, as far as the S&P goes, obviously down week for the second week in a row. Same with the NASDAQ. Uh, Russell was a little bit stronger today, caught a little bit of a bounce, but still on a slide downwards and the Dow uh, down as well. Gold continued lower, silver continued lower, although it did have a bounce Thursday and Friday. Uh, bonds continue to push lower, which is pushing the 10 year yield uh, up to 4.255 to end the week. Oil, a uh, couple little bounces Thursday and Friday, but lower for the week as well. And natty gas pulling back. Uh, as far as the grains go, soybeans up. Uh, wheat was up today, but down overall for the week. Corn, uh, pretty close to where it started the week. The euro down for the week. The pound up for the week. And Bitcoin, big drop down to back down to 26,000. So that's the market. Let's take a look at our trades from the week. Start with zero DTE. So uh, a little bit of a red week for zero DTE down 7,000 total on all the zero DTE strategies. If we break this down by the different ones, uh, 925 Condor or 1025, depending on where you live. A uh, couple good trades, the Dick K special plus 700 on one plus $1,400 on the one today. So a couple thousand dollars there. Uh, AM ratios, I'm just gonna put all these together. As far as the AM ratios go, uh, three winners, one loser, uh, pretty much a scratch week for AM ratios. Uh, I had one on the 14th for plus 1700, on the 15th minus 38. 16th plus 1,000, and today plus 1,200. Uh, zero DTE iron ducks. Two trades. One was a big loser, minus 5,200. One was a winner for about 1,000. Uh, started doing uh, just selling puts on specific criteria. Just did one of those. Was just kind of testing it out. Actually did it in SPY, plus 530 on that one. No ratios. Power hour. So how did we do in power hour this week? Not good. Uh, almost 14,000 on Monday, uh, all were winners. On Tuesday, all were losers. On Wednesday, tranche one was a loser, tranche two and three were winners. On Thursday, uh, tranche one was a loser, tranche two was a winner, tranche three was a small loser. And then today, tranche one, because I had reduced my stop, small winner, and then two and three were losers. So. Uh, power hour struggled a little bit this week. Just a 50% win rate between all of those trades. Uh, the quiet lunch trades continue to do really well. Three winners on those. One for 3,800, one for 950, one for 2,100. And then I don't think I had any Wednesday PMs. Oh, I did. Yeah, I did one for uh, minus 4,300. And then reverse iron condors continue to do really well. Two winners, one for 1,800, one for 3,700. Uh, so down week overall for zero DTE, but the good news is that was the only thing that was down for the week. Uh, on our dynamic butterflies, refresh that. Uh, so we had a uh, bunch of time flies. Uh, this one was actually put on before the class that I did last week. So but booked 1,500 on that, and then we booked four other winners, 700, 605, 900, 635, and we've got one of those on. So let me show you our current flies. First one is a, uh, a longer duration flathead woodpecker. And I'm not sure what's going on with Toss, but we actually, we put this on for a credit, but for some reason it's showing as if we put it on for debit, and it's showing we're down 1,000, but we're really up a little bit of money on that. So I've gotta, I gotta figure out what's going on on that. Um, as far as our time fly goes, we've got one of those on. And it's currently up about 4%. So we should be able to take that out on Monday, barring a massive move over the weekend. Next setup, our dynamic calendars, which did very well. 
click on these all, make sure we don't miss any. Yeah, so uh, six, seven, booked 750, a three, five, booked 465, a TGIF booked almost 2000, uh, and then some B&Bs for 300, 375, 600, 400. So B&Bs have been performing really well. Plus 4,800 on our calendar positions this week. Iron Ducks got smoked out on a couple ducks. Uh, one in Rut for 607, one in SPX for 730. No NTT. Uh, option selling, some really good profits in our option selling. Oops. So uh, let's see, this uh, 6E, those are just the book credits. We're actually down on that one overall, but it's still open. MES, that's a, that's a roll, so that one's still open. Booked over $2,200 on a hedgehog in ES. Booked $480 on a hedgehog in IWM. Uh, booked $217 on a strangle in MES. Booked $360 on a volatility contraction trade in VXX. And then the rest of these are open. So let's take a look at our open positions. So here's the, here's the short strangle in 60. We've rolled down our calls three times on this one. Price is hanging out right here. So need a little bit of a bounce in the euro to help that one out. In oil, we just put on a new hedgehog in oil. Price is hanging out right there. Not much to do on that one. And then we also put on a short strangle in oil and we just put this on, so we're up just a little bit of money, 50 bucks on that one. ES, we took off a big hedgehog on that, as I showed you, and then we have another one on that's doing really well. As uh, the price pushes down, kind of pushes us down into that sweet spot. In gold, we've got a reverse hedgehog, and price is way down here, so uh, most likely that one's going to be, we'll take that one off here in the, in the next week or so. And uh, probably a scratch, maybe a small loss, maybe a small win on that one. MES, we've got two short strangles. That one's pretty well centered. We've adjusted that a couple times, not quite to our profit target. And then this one we've adjusted once, and so we're down just slightly on that one. NQ, got another hedgehog in NQ that's doing really well. Actually, we've got two of them. So we've got this one here. Let's see, it'd be this one here. There we go. Uh, no, that's not right either. It's this one here. No. Which strike am I on? There we go. So that one's, uh, that one's coming in nicely, up a couple thousand on that one. And then the other one we just put on, and that's this one here. So we're up just a little bit. Uh, ZS, we've got a short strangle on in soybeans. That one's pretty well centered with this nice bounce we got back. We're almost at profit target after adjustments, uh, but not quite there. QQQ, we've got an iron duck on, pretty well centered. Rut. We just put this iron duck on. Price is still way up in the beak area. Uh, SPX, we've got another duck on. And it's pretty much in the middle. And then VXX, uh, we've got one vertical on that is slightly down. We put on another one today, pretty much at the top of volatility. And it's contracted down, so we're up uh, about 250 bucks on that. So those are the those are all those trades. I uh, I usually am sharing. We we also have a a group for just portfolio margin traders for those who have portfolio margin with their with their brokers, uh, and we just do trades specific to portfolio margin. Uh, these are usually only trades I, I share with those folks, but. I'll show you, we had, a, we had a big week for portfolio margin position. So if there's anyone listening who has portfolio margin and is interested in the portfolio margin group, just check out the 
portfolio margin channel in Discord. It's by application only. Uh, but here is our PM trades for the week, um, all of which were winners, uh, booked over 14520 And in fact, this, this super fly that's still open that's showing minus 2900 the other piece of it that we haven't closed is up uh, about 4000 So that net net, about, actually about a positive 1000 on that one. So I uh, had a PM Condor that we booked 1700 on, a Time Fly that we booked over 1100 on, a uh, Hedgehog we scratched, plus 35. Golden Shark booked 3300 another Golden Shark booked over 2000 a Call Swoosh we booked 1600 another Time Fly booked 2400 a Reverse Calendar booked 2800 another Golden Shark booked 1100 and another Time Fly booked 1200 So those... Uh, came to life a lot with the uh, with the volatility that we've we've seen this week so overall zero dte down but a lot of good things happened this week as well so that's the beauty of of having all different positions so hopefully that was helpful uh as far as uh, live streaming monday i'll be streaming uh, at the open for zero dte on monday morning and then also for power hour so look forward to seeing you then talk to you soon